this video will explain you how to install Windows 10 if you do not have a CD player in your laptop first of all you have to make your pen drive bootable then insert it in your laptop then turn your laptop on and as soon as you click on the power button keep pressing F12 it will pop up a window from where to install the Windows 10 then select the USB drive now the window appears that will ask you for language time zone and keypad method let it be US for all the options and as you can see the mouse pad isn't working so I'm connecting the mouse right now the mouse pad will start working after I install the drivers after complete installation of my Windows 10 so now after selecting click next and install now now if you do not have a key to install you can skip this step and now select the one you want to install like I select Windows 10 Pro and click on next now click the agreement and click on next and now go to customs uh, make a partition as because it's new so the drivers aren't created yet so I click on new now I am making a drive of 50 GB for installing my Windows 10 it will be named as drive C now after selecting the one you want to make as C I mean the one I'm created as 50 GB click on next now the installation process has started now after insta complete installation you have to connect to Wi-Fi so that the laptop can upgrade itself now it's getting critical updates wait for a few minutes then after critical updates your laptop will, start, will turn off and restart again then few more options will appear like to say that I am making this video in this laptop itself now it comes who owns this PC so click as you need then it's asking for my, uh, Microsoft account and as I own this PC I am entering my email now then after clicking on after writing the email I click on next and then it asks for password so I'm giving my Microsoft account password then click on next and then it asks to uh, for pin you can use this or skip this process I click on next I will entering a pin which I'll be using for logging into my laptop instead of Microsoft account password which is quite long so after doing after entering pin I click on next then you can skip this process or click on next anything you wish then it asks for using Cortana so you can use Cortana click on use Cortana then that's it it's done and then after you will need to update your PC so after all this all this process is done it is asking for updating your PC this is quite a long uh, big file which is around 4 GB so let it update for proper functioning of your laptop 
after this complete installation your mouse pad will start working properly and thank you for watching my video and please subscribe